this is a man who has experienced a lot of amazing experiences in, in the world of music. He's one of those guys behind the scenes that the kids didn't know about. His life experiences, no one else has had those life experiences. Uh, on the industry professional front. Well, the book is called Stumbling on Open Ground, Love, God, Cancer, and Rock and Roll. And this is Ken Mansfeld's author and quite the music industry legend here in Nashville and, and really all around. And it's so nice to have you on our show today. Well, my pleasure. I'm really excited about being here. So let's tell people a little bit about your history. Okay. Uh, you were the U.S. manager of Apple Records, right. which hopefully you associate that with the Beatles yeah. because that's pretty awesome. It was their and, company. Yeah, and then you also worked with MGM Capital as well and, and a plethora of artists. I cannot right. imagine the stories <laughs> that you have to tell, that's for sure. Well, you know, uh, being with the Beatles and being there, I was also their personal liaison between the UK and the United States and during that whole era. But the Beatles were already famous. But I started with Waylon and those guys from the very beginning, and we started from maybe when playing a bar room with a screen up so they wouldn't throw the bottles at you, <laughs> and, you know, headlining major concerts, and uh, they really wouldn't play our records at first because they were outlaw records, and so we were very anti-establishment. Mm -hmm. But eventually, it caught on to the point to where radio station had outlaw formats. And we went from, like I said, the small things to uh, just giant arenas. We would have uh, Hell's Angels following us on the tour bus down oh, the wow. highway. And uh, it was just, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. It was just like seeing something like the Beatle thing happen all over again. So this book um, covers a lot of different areas in your life. Of right. course, there's some of the music business stuff. Yeah. This is your fourth book, we might mention. And then, um, but also a lot of personal um a lot of your heart went into this right. book from your personal relationship with Christ and yes. as well as the battles that you've been through dealing with cancer as well. Right. Why did you decide to, in this particular book, talk so openly and honestly, if I might add, about right. your battle with cancer? Yeah, I kind of, uh, I think the book is a, a pretty raw story about dealing with cancer and it's kind of an in the between the cracks book for people. You don't usually read things like this, but uh, Joel Miller from Thomas Nelson approached me and my agent about writing the book and uh, he did want me to incorporate a little bit about the Beatles and stuff like that. And I said, Joel, I said, I, I don't want to write about the Beatles anymore and I also do not want to revisit the horrors of the, of the two cancer battles I mm -hmm. went through. And he said, look, just do me a favor. Here's my concept for the book. Just go try and write a couple chapters and if, it's, you, know, if you don't want to do it, come back. I sat down and I started writing these two chapters and it's just like it just took off on its own. I, that ba book basically wrote itself. I say it's a book about doubting a God you don't doubt or mm. it's about not believing in a God that you believe every word he says is true or, or, <laughs> or questioning a God who you know has all the answers. It's this struggle we go through. A lot of people, and that's why the book is different, when they get into a cancer battle, a major battle, you start doubting your faith and, your faith and you start getting mad at God and you start you know, questioning Him and you start doing all these things and then you feel like, oh, now I'm a bad Christian and, mm -hmm. and I really shouldn't have these thoughts, you know. And in the book, because I do, I get pretty down and dirty about just what you go through mm -hmm. in, when you're doing this thing. That dialogue, I'm sure, that you were having yeah. with God as you, as you battled this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because, mm -hmm. you know, no matter how many people come around and bring food or offer to mow your yard or, or help and all that, uh, when it comes down at nighttime, you know, you're alone with your face down on the pillow crying with the pain and right. stuff like that. And it really always does come down between you and God. Mm -hmm. And the, one of the points I try to make in the book is it's okay to tell God you're not having a good time. It's, it's okay, mm -hmm. this hurts, you know, okay, take this away. Why is it, you know, you can, it's, go ahead, even tell me you don't like what he's doing because uh, he knows what's in your head. And so if you say, oh, Lord, I praise you because this is, not, this is a trial and I know... No, he knows in the back of your, you know, he knows. It's okay so to be honest. Yeah. Be honest yeah. with him. You know, and so have this dialogue, and what it is, is that's called prayer. Mm -hmm. That's talking with God. That's mm -hmm. all he's asking you to know. Well, he's asking more, but it's all he's asking you to do in a way. He's just, just let's chat about this. Right. Let's have figure out our relationship mm -hmm. to this. Let's see where we're supposed to go with this. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, thank you so much for telling us a little bit about the book. Okay. And again, it is called Stumbling on Open Ground, Love, God, Cancer, and Rock and Roll. So cover all the bases there. We sure do appreciate it. We want to let people know that they can okay. get this at their local book retailer at yeah. Amazon, Amazon, at thomasnelson.com, right. and um, probably at your own website as well. Well, you huh? can find me there too. Yeah, I'm all easy right. to find. There you go. Thank <laughs> okay. you so much, Ken. We appreciate Thank you. it.